All right, we're back at it again. So we did a video just a day or two ago for the installation of this uh, Schlage LE. It's a uh, wireless lock that uses the Engage technology, the app. So uh, use an Engage app to basically monitor this. It's a software that you use to control this lock. So you have the Schlage NDE, which we'll make a video on how to install that too and how to program that for you. It'll probably come up in the next week or so. That one's for a cylindrical prep on the door, a two and an eighth inch hole, standard prep. Uh, this one here is made to be used with a full body mortise, so it's the Schlage LE. And then they have like a Schlage, um, I can't think of the name of the uh, unit. There's another unit they have for multifamily, it's like Schlage, the hell things connect, something along those lines. But there is another one that uses this Engage technology, it's for like a multifamily uh, homes and things, which maybe we might make a video on that for you also. That one's not quite as popular. So, this is the Schlage LE. Uh, this is made for the full body mortise. We installed it yesterday. Now let's show you how to commission this lock, get it online so you can start setting schedules, pulling audit history off it. You can do a lot of things with this lock. It's a very cool lock. So let's get into it. All right, so first thing first, and this is the instructions too. So, you got your manual, right? After you install it, it tells you first thing, download the Engage app. Next, create an Engage account. Commission the lock. Figure your Wi-Fi, add a user, grant, uh, grant access, pretty much done. I don't need to look at all this, but I'll go through it and show you uh, how it works. And you can do this on your app, and you have a portal you can get on it online. So you can do most of it on your app. Sometimes some things are a little wonky on there, so if you need to, just go on your computer and you can control it. So first things first, let me open my phone. Uh, let me open the Engage app, and let me show you what the Engage app looks like first. Let's go into the, the App Store. And if you're going to search for it, type in a legion and then engage. So a legion and then engage. Okay. And then I'm going to hit search right there. A legion engage. Okay. I already have it. So I'm going to open it and I've already set up an account. Basically when you, <clears throat> when you download the app and you go in for the first time, it's going to say, uh, you need to create an account based on the Engage account. Put your first name, last name, email address, sends you an email, click on a link, takes you there, activates it, you can go. <clears throat> so, and if your phone has a facial recognition technology, it'll actually uh, use that. So I'm going to do that right now. So go to my Engage app and facial recognition. There you go. Okay, now it says notice. No sites found. Add a new site or contact the site administrator to <clears throat> so what it means by site is the actual location that this lock is going to go. So say I have like, say I own a locksmith shop and I own a bar. Okay. So if I was going to put this at my bar, then the site name would be, you know, whatever the name of the bar is. So this is going to go here at the shop. So I'm going to say that let's create a site and hit the plus button. Okay. And what is it using technology wise? These are some other things. We don't actually mess with this. So it's going to be engaged. And then it wants the site details, site name, site type, time zone. So site name, we'll say it's going to be at GSL headquarters. Okay. So one second more, we type that in. GSL headquarters, site type, commercial office, that's fine. Click time zone. We're in central time here, so fine. Central right there, central time. And if you have it, put daylight savings time so it'll automatically adjust for you based off of the time changing so you don't have to go back in. If you made a setting to open from eight to five and then the hours go, drops back an hour, then your schedule's gonna be off the next day. But if you have that checked off, it'll take care of that. <clears throat> so let's create that site. Okay, so GSL headquarters is my site, okay? Now let's go back, <clears throat> oops, we'll log back in. Okay. So here we go. So devices. I have no devices, right? So this is a device. So first things first is let's uh, download the Engage app, uh, register an Engage account. We've already done that. I added the site in there. So we need to commission this lock. So device, add. It's an LE. We want to use the default LE settings for this site. Use default settings. Please turn and release the interior lever and then hit next. 
going to find it. There it is. Schlaglock LE. Connecting. Is the light blinking on the device? Yes, it is. So, yes. It says, please wait. <clears throat> Device name. So we'll call this uh, Schlag L E Shop Demo. Okay. So Schlag L E Shop Demo. Next. There's our Wi Fi. I'm going to click the Wi Fi. Pairing your device. Saving device configuration. Sometimes it takes a couple minutes, to let it do its thing here for a minute. There you go. All right, so finish. All right, so now we've added this device to the site. So we have our site, we have the device, right? So let's see what's next. So we got to add a user too. So let's go in here to user. Okay, now I'm going to hit add, add a user. And then it basically wants your first name and last name. And email address. Alright, so I got my first name, last name, email address, activation date, expiration date, if you want to put that in there. Um, so once you have that in there, we need to go, there's, uh, oops, sorry, the, the user's in there, so let's add a credential, which is the badge or whatever you're going to use to to use the lock, to access the lock. So I'm adding a credential, which is, this is my badge right here on my wrist, okay? So I'm going to hit Schlegelly Shop Demo is the lock I want to add that credential to. Okay, so the credential, name of the credential, I can call it, actually I don't have to call it anything. It says, please scan credentials. So let's do that. Boom, picked it up. It called it credential one. I can go in here and say, change it to whatever I want, wristband, Uriah's wristband, if I want to. But anyway, so it's in there. I'm going to save that credential. Credential enrolled successfully. All right, so we have our credential. It's enrolled, um, and I got a lock, and it's communicating. So I'm going to go back in here. Not there. Let's see. Now, under my username, right, I have a credential, but I don't have it registered to any device yet. So let's register it to this device right there. And you can add schedules. You can say, I'm going to create a schedule. It's going to be called field text, and it's going to mean Anybody in that group is going to have access to this lock between 8 and 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. And I'm going to create another group called Admin. And they're going to have access from 7 a.m. to 4 because they get here earlier and they leave early. So you can set all these different groups of, uh, of types of uh, schedules. And then as you're enrolling people, you're like, oh, he's a field tech. Here's his schedule. Oh, he's a, an admin person. Here's his schedule. You just put them into that group, that schedule that you have. So um, right now I have a 24-7 I can add something in there, a different type of schedule if I wanted to, but I'm saying 24-7 for now, and I'm selecting that it works with Schleg LE Shop Demo. Save. Success, user devices, updating successfully. So, make sure that's saved, which it is. Now, if I go to the device, it still has this there, so let's see if it's update needed. So, let's click on the lock. Let's see what it says here. We got more. Connecting to device. See what said this real quick. Okay. It is good. Okay, I'm back. Schedules, users, the way users is not being there, the user. Um, the schedules I can create. Uh, you can also add a feature. Here's the cool thing about this feature. So, say you have your lock set to open automatically at 8 o'clock in the morning. Say your manager's running late. No, let's say. Let's say your manager, yeah, say your manager's running late. He doesn't, he's going to be there about 8.15, but you have customers at your door at 8 o'clock, and you set that thing to automatically open at 8 o'clock. Well, that's a problem. Then you got to open the door for 15 minutes before your first person shows up. So I have this feature right here in the schedule that says first person in. This setting allows the door to be auto-unlocked once a valid credential is used with, within the selected schedule time. So basically, you put first person in so that the schedule won't activate until the first person applies their credential. That way, you don't have that problem. So, if you wanted to do that, you can set that. Anyway, uh, if you need to do an update in firmware, you can click on that. It'll tell you current version, firmware's up to date, so I don't need to do that. So, I'm going to come back to the lock and hit sync, connecting to device. 
update from server initiated. So I'm letting this do this thing right now. Let's do this thing again. Let's start blinking up here too. So I know it's still uh, communicating. It just takes about a minute, minute and a half usually every time we do it. Alright. Still blinking. In the portal, you basically you type in online, you can go in there and type in Schlage Engage app, and then it has it brings up a page, and you'll see a little spot on there where it says uh, Open Schlage Engage Portal. Basically, you click on that, it opens up to view all this on your computer. Okay, so it gave me an error, so the access point was not found from the Wi Fi network. So let me click on this for a little bit here. Okay, you need saying something a minute ago. So let me let this pass and then we'll get on to the next part. Okay, so if you go back in here to the device and you hit more, it connects to the device and then hit the settings. If you if your Wi-Fi has the 5 gigahertz and has a 2.4 gigahertz, you have to use the 2.4 gigahertz. It does not say that in the instructions but you have to use the 2.4 because it will not work for the 5. So, went in there, changed my Wi-Fi to 2.4, put the password in because you can, under the settings over here, you can go in here, select the Wi-Fi name, type in the password, and then save that, back out, and then you're back at the shop demo. And then I can hit sync, and it's going to connect to the device. You have to make sure you're selected on that Wi-Fi in your phone, too. So, I was on the 5 and not the 2.4, so I fixed that. So let's get this done here. And success. Sync successful. Okay. So everything is synced up now. I've got my user. User's in there. I have my credential. Credential's in there. I have the device selected, what to use. Everything's selected. I have access 24-7. So right now it's locked. That's it. So, and let's go one step further real quick. So now, say I want to see who came and went when. Well, let's go ahead and go, let's go to here. Let's go to the sites. Oops, not that. Let's see what's out real quick. So I'm not sure if the audit's in here. Let me double check real quick. So what happens when it's blue, by the way, real quick, let me tell you this. If you have it on Wi-Fi, it'll push the updates to it right away. If you have it on Bluetooth only, you're going to have to go to the device and basically sync and shoot all your data up to the lock. Um, so let me go in the, let me close the app real quick. I'm going to go to the app online, which you can look right here what I'm doing. I'm just going to type in, let's just try, let's try uh, a Legion Engage app. Type that in. Okay, and you got Engage Web and Mobile Apps right there. Click on that. And see right here? It says Engage Web Portal right there. Click that. Log in. Let me log in real quick. Log in. I got my user right here, one user. I'll go to my devices. I've got one device. I want to go, it's at GSL headquarters, so it has my what site we're at. We can make different sites. And I can go to audits. And right here it gives you the history. So right now, let's go right here. Should activate here in the line. I want to refresh it. So it's 538, that's 536, the last piece before then. So let's go ahead and refresh it. Give it a second. Oh, you know what? It has to push the data too. That's right. So let's see. Because it'll push the data 
at night at like 2 p.m. Let me let me force the data to send up to the cloud real quick because it'll send it up at like at around 2 a.m. at night. Okay, so I'm gonna go here real quick, sync my computer device. I'm just gonna push all the data up to the browser. Update the server initiated. And you can continue adding more and more locks onto this too, so that's the good thing about it. And add different sites. You can have 20 different sites and five different locks on each site if you want. And everything can have its own schedule. This lock can be a different schedule on that one. Okay, sync is successful. Let me see if that sync went through. Yep, got that. HMBC validation passed. We even talked about connected to the Wi Fi, had that in there. Everything has been done over the last minute. It, it uh, power off, disconnected from the network. Any little thing that's in there, it has all that record. So I can scroll down here and look and see Rio Ortiz, 5.38 p.m. This date, he used that lock. So, yeah, tells you everything you need. So, uh, that's the Schlage LE using the Engage app. Um, hopefully this has been beneficial to you and that you could uh, set one up yourself if you want to. Um, we appreciate the support as always. Thank you for tuning in for another video. Uh, if you have any ideas for video content, please leave us a comment and let us know. If you like the video, also leave a comment. Um, and if you would, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, Facebook. We're on all the social media platforms. We appreciate the support as, all, uh, support as always. And thank you for uh, opportunity.